Hi everyone, uh, once again, welcome to County Kilkenny. We're up here in the training yard of Joseph O'Brien, uh, Cargan Oak Racing in Piltown. Uh, once again, Joseph, thanks very much for taking the time this morning to have a chat with us. Uh, as you're aware already, Joseph is the Land Rover and Auto Boland uh, brand ambassador. Um, so obviously, it's good to take the time out of his busy schedule, I'm sure, coming up to Punchestown to talk to us. Uh, just on the upcoming racing in Punchestown, Joseph, looking forward to it? Looking forward to it, Vinny, yeah, some great racing. Um, very competitive. Obviously, there's a great tussle between Willie and Gordon going for the Absolutely. trainers' championship, so that'll be uh, uh, it'll make for exciting viewing all the week. And um, I have some nice horses to run. And, uh, looking forward to have you many, many yourself in a Joseph think, uh, this year? I have eight or ten runners uh, um, um, over the week, so uh, a couple of chances, and uh, nice to get a winner. Absolutely, without a doubt. And in the Land Rover bumper, then Joseph, have you anything yourself yeah, running in that? I have a nice horse. He hasn't <laughs> run yet. He's a bike him and Laurie running first time out. Um, uh, he's been working nicely at home. Hugely competitive race. Always it takes a very good horse to win it. So um, um, listen, we'll be we'll be hoping for a good run, but um, very competitive race. It's up there indeed, yeah. And uh, I'm sure you'd like to win the Land Rover at the end of it all, anyway. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> a nice touch at the end of it. A couple of quick questions, I suppose, from our point of view, and I think some of our, our viewers would like to would like to know as well. As regards being a jockey or a trainer, okay. which would you find more appealing at this stage now, or, or which you get, I suppose, the most kick out of at this yeah. stage? I suppose uh, when you're a jockey, um, your job starts in the parade and and you uh, you go and you go, go to go to do your ra ride the race, and, and you do your best. But a trainer job kind of starts three or four months before the race. And when you get to the parade, your job is done. So um, I get a, a bigger kick out of uh, training a winner than I did riding a winner. But um, if you're looking for a little bit easier way of life, maybe as I suppose. And would you say, from a from an owner's perspective, is there more pressure put on you now, yeah. as 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 being a trainer yeah. over over and above being a jockey? I say there is, but and I suppose it, it, like I say, there's not that more goes into training a winner than riding a winner. So so um, that's the suppose why you get a little, little bit of a bigger kick out of it. Right. And uh, in relation to training, as regards, I know there's so many aspects in relation to training a horse. I mean, from, from bloodlines and, yeah. and, and breeding yeah. and so on and so forth, right up. So what would you say is your is, is the most appealing part of it for you? Um, well, the most appealing part of training horses is having a winner. Yeah. Um, uh, that's the uh, that's the that's where the kick is. But um, listen, there's so many different things you can get in go into. Um, you try and collect all the information you can and make up your mind after that. I'd say so without a doubt. Uh, and as a guard, the yard up here, everything everything going well, everything going according to plan. You've yeah. had some fabulous winners over the, over the last number of years. Yeah, we have. We've had a, last, we've had a good run now this, this winter as well. Um, there's some nice horses, some nice two year olds for the flat season is just kicking off now. And uh, some nice horses to go jumping for the summer festivals. And um, yeah, we're looking forward, looking forward to the next few months. And hope for a bit of good weather. I'm sure the bad weather over the last number of uh, number of months has affected you in some way as well, has it? It has for sure, yeah. Um, I suppose it's affected everyone all over the country. So um, um, yeah, we could do with a nice couple of weeks now at least. Absolutely. Everything going well with your Land Rover? 110, yeah, a great, great, uh, great Jeep, um, and I give it plenty of hardship, and it doesn't give me any hardship. <laughs> so, so that's uh, weird, uh, <laughs> as you well know, yeah. yeah so, yeah. Um, but no, brilliant car, and um, very lucky to have it. Yeah, sure. As we've always said, I suppose within the within the equine industry, we've been very lucky as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. they're certainly uh, they seem to they seem to be made in heaven. The the, the Land Rovers. As regards to the aspect of, of, of the, the terrain yeah. that you'd be on and the distance you'd be travelling and the capability of the Land Rovers from yeah, a toy capability and everything. Open the motorway and then you could be here climbing hills and on, on, on the off off road and um and and as soon as you get on the motorway you might as well be driving some kind of a sports car. So, yeah. so um really I, I couldn't uh, ask for more in the in the car anyway. That's perfect. I think next thing we'll do, we'll go have a look around uh, Joseph's training yard here and uh, see if we pick up any tips. As regards that, if you were, if there was other potential trainers looking at this now today, what advice would you give them as regards going forward and as regards to, to be the best they possibly can at the job? Uh, just isn't, um, do, do your best is all the only advice you could do and give anyone. Um, every horse is different, everyone's facilities are different. So, so uh, do your best with every horse and um, see what happens after that. Perfect. Thank you very much, Joseph. Now, guys, so we're just up here in the warm-up arena uh, with Joseph once again. Uh, and obviously, the horses. Just to go through the procedure now, Joseph. What's the procedure from here during the day? So uh, basically, um, uh, this is where all the horses meet. So uh, we have horses coming from different parts. So, so they all come and meet here, um, and we're going to start the gallop here. Tell them what they're all doing. Let's get 
the next lap. Okay. So, so uh, and basically, if they were easier, tell them what they're doing, then they could possibly go. And many horses go through this procedure then every day, would you? Uh, just over 50. So, so, so um, 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 yeah, so we it's, an early, it's an early start. Yeah, we started at half seven, finished at half twelve. And, um, um, yeah, no, that's a good routine. And very lucky that we have a great staff. And that makes the morning very easy. Absolutely. And I suppose just looking around at the, at the horses here, could you see some super superstars among them here now? Yeah, you'd like to think so, but you don't really know until you get them on the race course. That's when you, that's when you find out what uh, the bonus could say. Yes. Um, so um, we have some nice horses, some nice young horses. So ho hope to have a good summer. But I'm very much happy. We'll move on and have a look at it a little more. It all back down and all back up again then, is it? Yeah, so the first time they trotted, they trotted for a couple of furlongs and then canter for three and now they're going to canter all the way. So the right. first time was just a warm up. Come back quicker this time. Though. Yeah. So, so, um, yeah, it's, um, just a routine, basically. I'm sure, yeah. It's a fifth day. Okay, Joe. Yeah. Alright, Harry. Okay, Joe. Okay, Chris. Yeah, good, Joe. You're looking nice, Chris. Joseph, thank you very much for showing us around up here. Um, I hope people enjoy a little insight into a, a morning with Joseph O'Brien. Uh, and look at it for the future. We certainly wish you the very, very best of luck. And uh, we'll, we'll keep in contact over and back. And as I said, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have more little snippets going up. Uh, as regards the, 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 the life and times of, of Joseph and his training and so on and so forth. So listen Joseph, thanks very much again for your time today. Best of luck in Pontius Town coming up. Thanks, thanks a lot.